Hey everyone, this is Rascal. Welcome to part 15 of DLP of Metroid Utter M. In the last part, we be we noticed that this weird things have been going on in Sector 2. A creature has looked like it's been killed by a, me a Metroid. So, whatever's going on here is not just basic bioweapons. One, two, three. Oh, thank you, a save room. I needed this. Uh, not a save room. A navigation room. So, yeah. Sector... We've been learning a lot more about Sector 2. Really frozen place. Metro... Possibly Metro indication. Indication. I wonder really what's going on here. Okay, that was odd. Uh... Wait, I know that sound. Oh, ho, ho. Not another one of these guys. Move your leg. There we go. Yeah, now that we got a little more power ups, it's a little easier to get this thing dead. Even your fully charged shot will do a lot of damage. Okay, just show your ass to me, sure. Yeah, I'm really not caring about using my missiles in this game. In fact, I don't really save missiles. I spam them almost to a certain point. Uh, okay, pass me, get a little closer. Yeah, as you notice, there is, they do a bit of a, wow, goddamn, that would have been a nice hit. Um, they do a bit of a um, slow motion act when you first go into a uh, first person view. So th this gives you the chance to lock onto the enemy, really. This is what it does. Come on. Aim back down to do this stupid thing. There we go. Come on. Die. Please. Uh, okay. Fine. Just take, just stand there like a little bitch and take my missiles and my shots. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I will admit this. I'm not the biggest fan of the Metroid series, but I don't mind what they tried here. I really don't. This was really meant to get new players into the Metroid series. I'll go more detail in that in the review. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, there's not much to do as, as speed boost or shine spark. How the hell did we grab onto a ledge of ice? Ooh, okay. Oh, god damn it, not another one. Okay, so who gives a shit? Maurice is dead. <laughs> name not important, name not important, not important at all, and... Who is that? Now this is hard to notice. Because you really gotta look carefully. It's like really, really small to lock on to. It took me a good little while to realize where I had to at least give an idea of where to aim. Now, there is an easy power up here. Morph ball. Bomb. Or missile. I'm guessing missile. Yep, normal missile. Ooh, an axle charge. An acceleration charge. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we needed that since there is a boss battle coming up. Oh, I almost did a full sh spark. Now, when we're gonna do our cleanup video before we fully beat the game, I'm just gonna cut to the parts where, to the sections where there are pickups that I missed. Now, there is an upgrade just within that wall right there where the stairs are, but you need the space jump in order to get to it. I'm pretty sure you can shine spark up there, but I've never really tried. Okay, 
So this woman is running away from us. Rightfully so, we are Samus Aran, destroyer of planets. I'm not gonna hurt you, but you have the right idea to stay away from me. Wait, what? Why? Why? What? I know why you're here. Why are you... Wait, is there something we don't know? Now, these crates up here, you notice in the top left corner, like, when we before we turn our camera... Uh, not top left, top right, no, sorry. Um, we turn around quickly. Um, there are certain upgrades in those crates, but... Um, we're an independent bounty hunter. I know I'm Samus Aran, destroyer of worlds, but that doesn't mean I'm going to kill everything I step onto. Wait, what? Whoa. You know, you would think the freeze gun would take a little more time than that to, you know, actually take effect, especially with body armor. Um, I want to help you. Please don't. Oh God, what does she do? We're here to rescue you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> rescue in quotation. You are Samus. What the? Oh God, damn it! Hurry, this way. Um Get out of here. What the hell? A galactic federation in suit? <laughs> oh dramatic purposes. Like we need it. Oh that was pretty cool though. Uh I don't know if this thing actually has a name or not. But it's annoying as all fuck. That's all I know. That's all I call- this is what I call it. Annoying as all fuck. This boss is actually one of the more difficult fights for me. I said for me. It won't be the most difficult fight for you if you're lucky. The reason it's pretty annoying and pretty difficult for me is that it's really unpredictable. It doesn't have a pattern like most other creatures or bosses. The only pattern you can tell it has... Okay. Missile. Ow. I meant the other arm. Now it can't throw out its its arm. I think it's gonna do it soon. I was like, okay, how the hell did you miss me from that location? But whatever. Now, uh, if you get more of a direct hit on the arms, it'll freeze a lot faster than using having to count on the diffusion beam to freeze it. Oh, that isn't good. <laughs> and there you go. Now, the annoying part of this fight. What I find the most annoying. Now that it's going more or less berserk. You've got to freeze the uh, tires in the place. What's annoying with this is that... Um, you've got to be behind it every time you manage to freeze a tire. Ow. You would think nothing would have a, a physical contact with the ground, but this is what's awesome about sometimes uh, techno technology, um, science fiction, especially. Now, aim a missile to that. Aim a missile to that. There you go. Now, you can only do one shot at a time. Like I said, you kind of have to be behind it in order to get it frozen and to aim to the, I guess, the motor engine. As you can see, I'm pretty much almost dead. This is what's annoying about this thing. It has so much an unpredictable pattern. Now, I, I say unpredictable, but probably not the right word I'm using. Now, I'm at a bad angle right here. Although I froze it, it's, um, other pieces are protecting it. And yeah, so you've got to start this all over again. Yeah, I feel kind of screwed here. Now, if you use the dodge sense in or, in, at the right moment to get out of the way, 
it's actually quite easy and I don't know what happened there I was like oh god am I gonna have to show them the game over screen do I actually get it I don't actually get a game over which surprised the hell out of me uh, now I have one of two choices shoot it or regenerate my health believe it or not yeah that was the bad choice wait that's still hit Holy shit, I still hit. Surprising enough. Um, if you want to make this go by faster, try aiming for only one specific wheel. One wheel at a time. And like I said, try to stay behind it. And how am I not getting hit right there? Oh, I don't care. I'll take the screw up of hit detection collision. I'll take it. I'm not going to bitch. And again, I was like, oh god, I'm at the wrong angle again. Yeah, I'm at a bad angle. I'm not gonna get it. Yeah, this fight drags on because of bad angles mostly. Ugh. Okay. I'll take it. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'll take it. Yeah. Come on. I think I only need one more hit. Please give it to me, game. Oh, damn it. Yeah, this is extended for a period of time because of my stupidity. Ow. That hurt. Um, okay. What the hell? <laughs> oh, I think I'm at just the perfect angle. Ugh, there we go. Die! No? There. Dead. You don't need to shoot missiles, but it actually helps. It does more damage. And the super missiles, when we do get them, will do even greater damage to most enemies. Uh, especially bosses. And now this thing's going haywire. Okay. I think this was being done on purpose so the guy can escape. I'm not 100% sure, but I really don't care. Because this is one part of the story that never, ever gets resolved. We're about to talk about it soon. Come on. The woman believed that the Galactic Federation was sent to the bottle ship to keep those in the know for oh, wow. information about the project. And no wonder. She had been attacked by Jeez, someone. Jeez, I wonder why she would Federation think that. Power suit, and she implied that Maurice was killed by another soldier. So yeah, it's a power and suit, not body armor, sorry. So yeah, that I had ice agree. beam shot, that uh, freeze gun right there should have took a lot more than just that. I would have to say the freeze gun probably has a fully charged mode like Samus's um, arm cannon. It appears to be hiding in sector three. Okay. Take the elevator ahead of you to the main sector. Um. Head to sector three. How the hell is that even possible? You've got to take it down. All right. Wait, we got the plasma beam. Wait, do we? Yes. No. We don't get the plasma beam right now? Oh, not until sector three. So yeah, you can't go back from this point. You can only move forward, obviously. Yeah, so there is an item in here, but we'll come back for it. Don't worry. Actually, there's two of them, so we'll come back for them. And what the hell? Why is my kick jump not working? Okay, what the hell suddenly works? This game's picky when it wants things to work. Yeah, no point of actually trying to use a shine spark. There's not enough room. With those creatures crafted into killers running free, the uh, so now we get a portion of the story which never gets resolved, which never gets brought up ever again, and it's this: someone is a traitor. At this rate, now who we'd never know because, like I said, we never find out. It never gets resolved. <laughs> so they sent in an assassin. Yeah. Someone to wipe out any survivors as well as anyone who learned about the secret project. Hmm. 
Wouldn't it be a good idea to I I don't know what's the correct word? Just blow the station up. Could one of them really be a traitor? Until I found out who it was. Yeah, I doubt Adam be a traitor. The deleter. Uh. Boo. I started. Yeah, I know. It's no one really. This plot never gets resolved. No one ever gave a shit for it. So yeah. And could she be the person in charge? Hmm. Madeline Bergman. Duh, you're, she's the only person alive her. up to date you've met she in this station besides again. other troop members. So there and isn't much of a one plus one scenario. More like, duh. Jesus. You know, here. this is what happens when sometimes you try to write a character story for a character that was once a silent protagonist. Um, you really can't do that easily. How do you... What the hell? Oh, god damn it. Not another one bites the dust. Yep, Sonos... Sonos bit the dust. Ugh, come on. No one gives a shit. And this part seems to an end, so join me next time as we find out more about certain things. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, have a good day or night.